the same It's all the same It's all the same What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Band Podcast. Welcome to the November, December 2020 edition of the Band Podcast. Our name is Bluest. My name is Gray. I'm Boo. And we're on episode 24. Let's go. So for the band, for people that have never checked out the Band Podcast, this is a monthly podcast that we do. Recently, it's been like a bi-monthly thing. But we talk about the stuff that we don't normally don't talk about on stream on you know on here we also take questions from subs at the end so it's a kind of like a half and half very chill um just thing that we've been doing so here it is this is the november december we had a lot of things happening to us in the like last two months yeah and especially since this time of the year your work is really busy too so you've been you've been busy oh i mean i I was locked down and everything too I mean, You've been busy. <laughs> personal life or whatever too, but like just yeah. with stream, I think a lot of stuff <laughs> has happened. So, so we're trying to what we normally start off by doing is usually kind of like go talk about what first talk about what you know what games we played mm-hmm. and you know what we felt about them, if either if we cleared it or not. But uh, what what do we play? Um. So in November December we did the split Sekiro challenge. Um, we also did, we also got into VR games. So we did what? Phasma. Um, we also did don't, no, keep talking and nobody explodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I've been doing Sakuna. Uh, then we did Danganronpa 2. We went back to that after like what? A year of hiatus. Yeah. And then we did our first Apex stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was technically just like a part of a stream, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a, full a full stream, stream but, but yeah, that was fun. I was, I was a little tipsy when we were streaming that. I you remember. Were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is there one that like has a big impression on you? I mean, I guess we, there's stuff we can say about all of them, but Yeah. Anything in particular? Well, I mean, I really like the fact that we went back to Sikido. Yeah. Yeah, and we yeah. We got the gauntlet done. So, that I think that's a that's a personal milestone, right? So it's much a personal harder. Achievement. So much harder than just being in the game. Um because we did the split control, the first split control a while back, and we mm-hmm. were able to finish it. Um, it it was hard, but it wasn't like as challenging as the gauntlet. And then there was a couple of gauntlets that we had to. And for people that don't know, gauntlet, the gauntlet or Mortal Journey is a boss rush. It's a boss rush, and you unlock a little by little, and then at the end you do like the full run. Um, there's a YouTube video of it of us doing the the last one if you're interested in that we did a little edit of that but yeah like when I first started doing that the gauntlet I'm just, I'm talking about the journey the journey there was a part of me that was like oh we might not be able to do this yeah I was a little worried at one point too because we had we had a lucky run at first where we went you know to a certain place and then when you first there's three new types oh actually at the last one there isn't huh you have to learn new versions of the boss but that's in the gauntlets before yeah and then at the end you have to do them all together like 17 it was like the ultimate trial of facing every boss you faced in the game and in the gauntlet so yeah it was just like i think that was probably the most frustrating besides fall guys i think that might have been the most frustrating run Mm -hmm. because i wasn't you know it's it's really important that we have teamwork and we don't you know lock ourselves out yada yada but i think it was like it almost broke my heart in in some some of those runs yeah because i realized it takes about an hour to get to you know even halfway point yeah not yeah yeah. and probably because we are split controlling each boss takes longer than a single player Mm -hmm. playthrough is because yep. we can't go into some of those pockets. Like maybe if we were skilled, we could, but we were just at we were just like going at it easy or uh, being as safe as possible. But just like we couldn't make movements that you could have made if you were playing single player. So there's like dodges that, or like parts you were supposed to dodge in, we couldn't dodge in because we would lock each other out if we didn't dodge in well, or like if you didn't do the exact amount of blocks and whatnot, it just wouldn't. Um, just it just wouldn't go the way you would if you were playing by yourself so yeah. i think we kind of had to play it safe or else 
I don't think it would have been doable. Yeah, it was really but, fun though. Like it was, yeah. of course, when we when we were able to succeed, we succeeded in it at the end. But the, it was it was it really weird because it that run actually didn't even seem like the one. Didn't even seem like the run. Yeah, I didn't think we would get it on that one. But yeah, for sure. And then going back to like the story games too, I think that was definitely something that um I was. It was nice to go back to like Danganronpa. Um, because yeah, I've always been wanting to finish it. Yeah, for a while. I was just so. like, you know, I want to go back to it. But every time we had that conversation, we're like, yeah, the visual novels are very hard mm-hmm. to stream because it's just pretty much it's just the the commentary that you would do when you stream a game is taken by just reading dialogue and reacting yeah. to it. So you have to you have to read like twice as much, or you have to talk twice as much as well. Yeah, and, and I think so, that some be, people do it great. Some people yeah. are like are really really good at it. Um, it was just something that was hard for us to keep focus and also like read read what people have you know mm-hmm. are chatting and stuff like that but i think this time around it was like let's just get into our own world and see if we can you know try to get people into it by us being into it mm-hmm. and so people don't expect that we have this like you know immediate back and forth but and i think it worked out because i i don't know i think i really enjoyed it i really it did too. And it was because the game is it's just so good. Yeah. I barely made any comments. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was just reading and, like, reacting one word, just one or two words um, here and there. And, like, the trials are, like, hours. Um, and then to even get to the case, you have to play, like, two, two hours or something. Yeah, there's so, a lot of content to yeah. build up as well. Which I think it, it kind of helped um, people remain interested, even if they weren't really into, like, the whole anime thing or they're really fans of like the artwork or maybe they don't generally play games like that but the fact that like the story is really intriguing and it was just like what there was it there is no like really slow moment in that game mm. so i think it really helps like people like even when like maybe they didn't watch like the first streams but they would come in and be like wait what's going on I, i'm really invested now kind of thing so that was really cool to see since we took a year off from playing that game yeah Another thing that it was just like the longer it takes, it's like, well, you're starting in the middle of a game. Yeah. Starting in the middle of a game of the second one in the franchise. So <laughs> it's, it's never good. So there, it's just it's just a bad idea, I think, yeah. um, to just do that. But I was just too interested. It was a kind of a selfish thing that I was just like, I, th- the story must be good. I trust in the story. It's it's been good so far. Characters are interesting enough that people will catch up. And even if people have questions about things in the past we can just answer it on stream and mm-hmm. i was like but i wasn't really thinking about it that much i was just like let's just do it i mean especially since danganronpa has an anime that we felt like hey we should watch it with everyone yeah and which so we haven't now, yet but yeah we haven't people. yet but we we want to and that's kind of a good way to get you know people who missed the first game to kind of catch up uh with what happened in the first game kind of thing yeah so and that game usually has a lot of uh people that spoil the game like trolls but yeah we were really lucky i, th- I don't we think we got pretty lucky we only got like a few people yeah which i think it's on like the low side of trolls yeah from what we've heard game. yeah so yeah i'm, I'm really so. glad we did that um and i think well we can talk about the lockdown too later but i think uh th- so there's like and we played other games too but like, I ca- yeah on my solo stream i've been playing sakuna yeah that game is so good yeah you've that been really so enjoying good. that yeah <laughs> I haven't had like a game that I just personally just really really enjoyed since maybe Death Stranding. Like I mean, of course, I like all games. I've enjoyed a lot of games I played this year, but I don't know. Like Death Stranding had a really you know special place in my heart, and Sakuna also has a special place in my heart. So you're still contemplating if you should get it for Switch so you can just play yeah, but, another game of it. But the thing is, I realized that Cyberpunk is out now, so. I think I have to play Sakuna off stream to be able to finish it on stream before but, Cyberpunk and, comes out. And also, I mean, if you have it on Steam, then there's no point. It's not like you're going anywhere. It's either you play here or the couch. That's true. And I don't know if. And the could, couch is so would, comfy, though. <laughs> what if I want to play on the couch? I see. Or like in bed or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what if I want to make rice in bed? That's, re- that's a really important question. And I think uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. It's okay if you get it. <laughs> If you fall, if you just want to make rice that bad in bed before going to sleep, then there's nothing I can do. Any, so I kind of want to. So we did a little bit of the games that we did, right? But mm-hmm. I think what I wanted to talk about on this podcast this is the last podcast of the year. Yes, right? it is. Yeah. So 2020 is about to end. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of want to 
compare where we were at the end of 2020 last oh, uh, uh, yeah. 2020 <laughs> versus 2019 um because yeah. we were we took you know if you look back in the archives there's a december version you know episode of last year and i think we're in a completely different place yeah. and if there's a better pl- time to kind of review 2020 it would be this podcast because that's true right that's true. and last uh for this year i think we definitely there was a growth in the channel yeah. of for bluest it wasn't like it wasn't like um it wasn't substantial like it wasn't like a big leap where we went from like 30 to like 100 and something but it was enough to the point we got yeah. partner still very so, big i mean yeah. that's that's big enough and i think yeah. it's i mean and you know we don't really say this on stream much but it did we did get like you know there is a very um obvious uh well semi obvious change in like uh how much we get uh yeah like payout as well so i think money wise um we are getting more than we did you know last year and that kind of was a really nice indicator of yeah. being like okay i think we're doing a lot better than last year kind of thing because last year at this time we contemplating contemplated stopping streaming and mm-hmm. like we actually thought yeah. about quitting because we just you know we didn't really see much progress we weren't making enough to support anything um we would just kind of basically like every paycheck wasn't enough to pay off everything like yeah. all the bills and whatnot so and now like you know it is better sometimes it's still like we, we still do half yeah. half and half like you know it's not like everything comes out of there which yeah, it, yeah. which it shouldn't be but I mean, I we think, have been but. able to you know pay rent with twitch money and then you know the money that gray makes at, at work we use for like food and like other necessities and stuff like that so we're mm. kind of you know we're being able to kind of yeah it doesn't yeah. it doesn't like it, it doesn't add any extra leisure or anything like that uh it's yeah. not like we're making bank um but it, it's definitely like mm-hmm. especially because like this year um my pay from work went down yeah. a lot because it's of been rough. The, because of the whole you know and i think it's at least i still have a job yeah but yeah. um still my pay d- definitely went down so we were I think it was like around March or February when things were like looking to start to get really bad. Mm-hmm. We were just like, yeah, so this is probably going to happen in the next months where it's going to be hard to support yeah. on my end. Um, but I think even if it's still rough, like Blue said that you said it was, um, it got better, but not, like not by what people are probably imagining. Yeah. You know, like it's it's we're still we can see negative. it because we see the bills every month, <laughs> but, and yeah. even a little bit of progression is, is huge for us. Mm-hmm. And it's we we want to thank everybody, but um, we can't. You know, there's so much appreciation, but mm-hmm. in reality, you know, it's not like we're living sure. like kings and queens or anything like that. Yeah. Um, of course, and if you guys have streamed, you probably have a general idea or like if you have friends that streamed you have a general idea of how much someone you know of our caliber would get paid yeah. but of course there's the months where the special occasions where more people will sub or give subs mm-hmm. or you know donations for like you know birthdays and stuff like that yeah, and yeah. um and those days are a lot better but yeah most most times it's more like yeah it's it's real it's, it's very real, real. Where, yeah we I guess lose money more than. But the thing is, thing. but, but the, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. The so. thing is, is that like I'm, I'm, I personally, it doesn't matter because we can pay the rent mm-hmm. and we can yeah. we're doing something we want to do, and uh, that's all. That's something we've been actually. I was listening back to an old podcast recently, and that's just so, that's something that we talked about during like our very first months. Yeah, it was like we wish we could do that. Yeah, just like we. And some people say, like, you just say that, but you keep wanting more. And yes, it would be nice to have more money, blah, blah, blah. But that compared to, like, what I do if I go to work, imagining that I work double shifts at my work and getting the double double pay but not liking what I do versus, you know, maybe half mm-hmm. of that. And maybe it's a little rough some months, but at least I get to do what I want to do. Yeah, it's just kind um, of like having I'm to... I'm passionate about it. Yeah. And I think it makes it so like it's it's like I I think if I said this the couple of days ago, but I was like I would rather just eat like really like ch- try to like save money with like other things mm-hmm. and continue what I do than have so much money to the point where I can just spend on you know all these other luxuries and stuff. So like I don't mind that the fact that you know we haven't really you know went out and shopped for like fun not fun things. I, 
like uh, extra things yeah yeah like new shoes Mm -hmm. or like oh i want new clothes kind of thing but i just realized like that's not really a big priority anymore because i do want to keep doing this it's like well you know what if we have to kind of take like you know step back from that and prioritize stream then it's not a bad i mean it's not a bad uh i mean it's not a hard choice yeah it's It's like i would rather do this than what i was doing before even though yeah sure paycheck is more consistent but like do you, it's like it's the whole thing of like do you want to prioritize money or time or like your what you like versus i guess comfort i guess in that sense like s- financial stability yeah. and i would rather have this one where i really enjoy what i do with some setbacks but at least i really like what i do yeah so it, it's not it's when you, when you talk about something like that where it's like it's not we're getting a ton of money from this mm-hmm. but it, it's so that's what i meant by it was real but it's not like we're holding back as in yeah. it's not like we're um like i have to do this we want we still really want to do it yeah. we don't have to do any of this mm-hmm. right um i could there's a couple of other job opportunities that i was given this year actually uh from working in different industries I turned them all down and I, I, I've see, I see how much they were going to pay me. They were like, and they were like, you know, you're getting paid here uh, this much at your workplace right now. And uh, we can give you this much more. And I was like, how about the hours? Right. There's something else that I really, really want to do. And I really want to keep doing. Mm-hmm. And with those schedules, it was impossible. Yeah. So if I really want to take pay, I would choose that. Right. And yeah. I think I mean, just like a lot I of would... people would think that that's the bad, you know, wrong idea, but it's like, yeah. I, I I'm still able to survive th- this life, and it's still yeah, and it's like getting not, better. Let's not forget, yeah. it's still it's getting better, right? Yeah, like we're not starving. We're yeah. not like it's not like we're out of money or things yeah. like that. It's just it's just like you just have to kind of figure out what your priorities are. Yeah. And sure, we we don't have the comforts of a stable income, but at the same time, that's not we just kind of had to sit like we talked and decided like. Well, that's not really a priority at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like we want to prioritize career more than comforts of just, I guess, leisure items and whatnot. Yeah. It, so it goes against everything my you know friends in school or yeah. uh, <laughs> school itself would tell me. But I'm just doing what I want to do, and I think we can. People always say that's not how life works, but it. I think there's a way to do that, and things might change in the future. But for now. What's important for me right now is that I kept keep doing what I want to do because it's hard to stay sane, especially in 2020, if yeah. I didn't, if I wasn't doing what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. right? And so it, I think it's, um, I think it'd be rough to just work yeah. every day at a job that you don't really like. And like you said, like I could even go back to fashion industry if that's you know you get asked isn't... to come back yeah. like all the time every couple months they're yeah. like you want to come back like i'll pay you we'll pay you more and yeah. blah 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 and you're For just sure, like, i can get more but yeah. like i don't want to go back to working every day from 10 a.m to 10 p.m not getting any holidays not being home to the point where i barely see you i and just so just yeah i would rather do this than go and have to work and it's all those hours so and it's also because it's not something you want to do even yeah. if it was 12 hour shifts we do 12 hour streams but it's not stressful because it's like it's something we want to do yeah, yeah, yeah. we do 10 it's hour streams different. we do nine hour yeah. streams right it's, it's like sometimes five you know but like it's it's not and we do feel really tired afterwards sometimes but it's still something it's the, what's important is it's what we want to do mm-hmm. it's not something we have to do um and i think it's just i've always said this but it's just something super interesting this whole thing is just streaming is just so interesting that i'm always still intrigued by it <laughs> um getting burned out is you know that's also a problem too it's real yeah but i think it happens yeah it happens but at the end of the day it's just so i would just much rather be doing something i want to do mm-hmm. um and yeah so that's why we were talking about this is because last year in 2019 we were at a part place where it started to not become fun anymore and it, it we were like at the end of 2020 if things don't look better for us. And if we still have the uh, stance on streaming, we do at that point, we were just going to quit. And um, people were very sad. And I was thinking of cutting that part out for the 2019 one, December one, but I kept it in because it was, it was, we were being honest. Yeah. And um, I think people were very sad to hear that. Um, 
because people were there they were they, they knew what it was looking like we were probably averaging you know like less than half that we do now um and like i was 30. paying from you know like rent and stuff like it was straight out of like my pocket or like my savings and then some months yeah. we could do like half and half but my savings and then i had to dip into my savings yeah. last year too and that was all i said you know what i'm gonna use the rest of my savings and then if it's not looking well then i gotta go back to work yeah that's kind of what we decided so it made sense right yeah. and then so uh and then january hit and man that was like i i still remember the january just like what's happening like, what's like, happening we're getting so really many like new 14? people what's going on kind people, of people yeah. were really like 14 and then it yeah. just this year has just been really cool because we were i was able to set in motions this really cool project that you know mm -hmm. me and kuro ken's been working on and um just stream itself just had gotten more people something and it's not like we were doing anything different too i think we got better at streaming games but hopefully yeah. we worked on skills but all in all it's been the same yeah it's been so i don't know what happened we've been but... always doing split control <laughs> stuff we've all, we've been but we um, did i think but this year like i think we finally decided like what we really want to do because yeah. we used to do split control just for horror and that was just because i was too scared to play by myself so i just forced gray into playing it with me it's a great so, idea <laughs> great idea yeah and so i just remember like our first what what was it soma it's like i can't play this yeah, by myself yeah. let's just split it and so we're like okay yeah fine it's like okay you you take keyboard i'll take mouse kind of thing it's mm -hmm. like okay yeah this should this should be doable if it's the two of us yeah. and then so it was just like a it was just an excuse to not have to play horrible myself <laughs> but now here we are and we kind of decided that like this year we kind of realized like maybe this is something we should make it it are like uh uh, like, like a thing like, like a, a thing for or us like, yeah, yeah like a bluest equal split control kind of thing yeah. almost so and i think but that's that that's really important but it's also it might be cynical but if that doesn't take off or like if people really like that it, it's important at one point to depart from that and play like story games and stuff oh, like course, that yeah. because that means if we're not doing split control people won't be there you kind of thing yeah. like I, that's but i think okay. I, I was very confident in our chemistry that people will stay even mm -hmm. if we do something different no i think a lot of people did and it's all in all 2020 was a shit year for many many people but for bl the bluest stream like as as on twitch it was definitely a good year um yeah better than last year Much in the set in growth i mm -hmm. think and we learned i learned a lot this year i did too um we challenged our first uh 20 plus hour stream yeah um which is actually quite doable so yeah. we need to learn how to sleep that was yeah in between that's one thing that was definitely something yeah. that but the thing is is that i was i think i was less well i did i did take some rest yeah. during that uh and we both did once but it's interesting because like you would do the lot i'm going to talk about the lockdown a little mm -hmm. bit but like doing the lockdown for maybe like 12 hours or whatnot will get me more tired than doing the bloodborne streams at home that bloodborne 21 hour stream at home um and i think i was playing more than and i only slept like an hour right so like in total so i think for the bloodborne one so it's just i was in a completely different mentality and this year i was able to experience you know thankfully to ken thankfully to joey gave me the opportunity to stream in front of an audience for a very long period of time that i wasn't used to and i mm -hmm. that kind of stuff is it's so scary yeah, and, and it's like i put myself in that situation but it's so scary but it, i know that it's a good experience and i know that i'll learn something from it and i do learn every single time i do it and I have such a good time um and i was able to do that thanks to my good friends so um hopefully i can do more of that hopefully I, we can yeah. we can do something like that too like next year i want to do it with no not just gray but like it doesn't have to be specifically the lockdown but something like that um something really cool something a little bigger than the desk home desk streams um i have some ideas got to talk to some people or like if they're interested but um hopefully we can do more things together because there's a, there's a lot of moments where i'm where i'm doing that and it's like this is really cool it's very different from bluest how can i use this for bluest kind of thing um so hopefully we can do that but so many new experiences um a lot of positive positive experiences yeah for sure what about some negative stuff? You know, we always talk about like good stuff. Did you have any, uh, ne I think if you want to be real, we should talk about some of the negative stuff that happened. Um, 
if there is anything that comes to your mind? Uh, well, my one would be like, there are times when, especially since we got partnered, there are times when we don't go past, you know, 75. Mm. And there are times where and I stream, I think like, you know, is there something, am I doing something wrong? Like, are right, we doing right. something wrong? Like, why aren't, why, like, you know, we were able to get partner, but you know, what does that mean if we can't even get a hundred or like, you can't even get closer to a hundred or like we've been, I guess. So you're are we gonna very plateau? strict on yourself. Yeah. Cause it's like, are we going to just plateau at 60s, 70s? Like what mm. do we have to do to kind of push past this awkward, like 60, av- 60 to 70 average that we're at right now? It's so kind of interesting um, how fucked up, how, how much the, your brain hates you because it's so, it takes such little time for you to be used to where you are right now and want more because we would yeah. be dying for that average last year. Oh, yeah, you know for what I mean? sure. Like, yeah. It's, it's so, it's so just, weird that but I can't, but I have to look forward because if I'm, I'm just content with what I have right now, yeah. then it makes everything boring. Absolutely. Like, I want something yep. to strive for. So, for my, for my next goal is to get to 100. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're at 60s. Goal, yeah. And so. I just like there's times when I'm thinking like you know what do I have to do to get to 60 like especially like my solo streams there's times I didn't doesn't do well so I think like maybe it's am I just not really interesting um am I streaming the wrong kind of game like what can I do to bring in more people but like in the end I I don't know I, I'm not really I don't really have that answer yet I'm it would still be kind cool of, like, to do something out, different um like I think we've talked about it before is I the the solo streams are always very like people know what they expect Mm -hmm. to expect um and it's it's definitely a different vibe from when we do it together which is a good thing which I think is a good thing and I think a lot of people like that it's a lot more personal I think on a lot of levels so but maybe next year it'd be a cool thing to like experiment different things um with the next um with your solo streams maybe do something with somebody else or like it, it'd be like kind of a can reach out to your friends and try something else and there's there's a lot of ideas that we can both have but i don't yeah i, I don't think like it's the, 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 my i guess my my issue roots with the whole like i don't i'm not confident in myself as a streamer by myself that's the thing same but and yeah. so i i don't uh, yeah i don't know i think it's just having to figure out like what I want my solo streams to be because I don't think I really have an answer yet. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. I play games that you're not interested in at the moment kind of thing Mm -hmm. that I want to play. But is that enough? I think it's 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 the the question I'm asking myself. Yeah. And and it's not like we this is like the pity cry of like, you know, like, oh, it's okay, Blue. Like, you're interested. Like, that's not what um, that's not why uh, you obviously said that. It's it's just my goal. Yeah. It's just things that I I set for myself. So I have something I'm working towards. Yeah. So I think it's. Or else I'll get lazy and procrastinate. And yeah. It's being strict on ourselves. So same here, though. Like, I I think it. um, I did a lot of these solo streams this year where on the second, not on Mm -hmm. the second channel. And uh, there's there were just moments where I was just like man just chatting is actually like such a hard um category yeah um there it's it's a very it's hard to be it's a weird way to say it but like it's it's hard to be good at it um and i think i learned slowly and slowly but it takes a lot more energy than playing a game for sure Um, yeah because you have to make you have to make conversation out of thin air you don't have a game to talk about you got to make the game like yeah. you gotta make you have the to game. make the topic yeah. you have to kind of set things in motion like if you're just waiting for chat to bring up a category like you're gonna be sitting in silence that's for like, a long time because we so. learned last year that that was like major um fuel for burnout yeah was this mental moment where like you're waiting you're looking at chat and you're waiting for something to appear mm-hmm. is so draining and if yeah. you've ever um streamed before or Maybe you've seen that in a streamer is when there's this moment where they're look you can tell that they're looking at chat and they're waiting for them to say something and if you're playing a game it's okay cuz you can just add your commentary and keep going but in just chatting the only thing you're looking at is chat, chat. unless okay. you're doing something else like mm-hmm. watching videos but the just the mental like strain of just watching waiting for chat and for, um waiting for that and that's relying on chat and i don't think that's like very healthy of course mm. 
it's amazing to be able to interact with chat in something in a way that you can't when you're playing a game and with the kind of the speed but waiting for someone to talk and then what happens if it's not even something you can start a conversation about or yeah. something like that or what or, if you they're know, not you know there's not nothing you can really add to it yeah then it's, it's just you're just reading you're just a glorified bot that's reading so yeah pretty much so yeah or that's what i feel like that's like just chatting i think it just chat is really really hard and mm -hmm. it's um it's 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 definitely something that i do want to keep working on because i think it's really uh really interesting that's so different mm -hmm. that's like one of the most different things from watching a let's play on youtube versus um uh, live streaming something is how fast the interaction is and mm -hmm. it's not you're not there for it's in the most pure way it's not you're not there for the game you're for you're there for the content creator or whoever the, the streamer is right so it's so personal and it's i love doing those um but and everyone that chats is amazing um even if it's like just a random comment here and there not even wanting interaction maybe just like some noise like that mm -hmm. anything is is great it just for me personally i just felt like i need to brush up on that um and i don't think many people talk about that yeah they always say oh just chatting is the the easy one or you know like you yeah, don't have to like, play no no just no, chatting no, no, is no, no, no. for they, the first few times when people want to talk to you or like if you're a bigger streamer and people yeah. want to talk to you that's fine but when you uh when you see when people, people are done with that they're yeah. like okay we've talked about everything yeah and or like you're talking to the same people every single yeah. day like you do run out of things to talk about especially nowadays yeah. where you can't go outside there's not much happening yeah I mean, but, you could talk about what you've been playing recently like game wise or like yeah. tvs or whatnot but like that get that topic if you're talking about it every day it gets old which so. makes me appreciate the people that do come back and talk so much like yeah. it, it how like uh, why do you guys find us interesting like you know like uh, yeah uh, how do you still want to talk like to me like thank you you know that's why yeah. i try to give you know all the conversation that i can um with mm -hmm. those people especially in a just chatting situation maybe not yeah. so much maybe it's a little harder playing games but in a just chatting situation um like because I, I think this year i realized like if we become better at streaming something people will find that interesting and then they won't feel like they're left out um even if we don't read every single chat mm -hmm. you know and i really worked on that this year so but yeah just chatting super hard um very I want, difficult i want to get better at it <laughs> i definitely want to get better at it next year i think um, it's still hard for me to do a full six hour just chatting stream yeah and you do it sometimes it's crazy i do i do like sometimes it's like it's really great because you know people in chat are very um they're very they find me funny sometimes and so those times are really nice and sometimes, sometimes i'm just like i just don't really hit those uh buttons i think and then i just my mind blanks out and it's like you know what i'm really i'm like i'm really boring today sorry guys i can't i can't uh yeah it's i think so i need weird. to go because <laughs> so. it, it used to be okay we have no other game on plus to just chatting yeah now it's like we'll find any game before, before we going do just, just chatting because it's so hard unless and it's we, just so draining yeah so our system recently has been we do we do like a long game and then we'll yeah. do a just chat and hopefully we can talk about the mm -hmm. game afterwards like a dedicated stream where we need to yeah, just yeah. but it turns out like every single time it's i feel a lot more tired doing a just chatting than um i think yeah. it's just our, our mentality of it has changed of it um but yeah i think people that just keep doing that like and that Insane. are good at it like people who do just so chatting every day is oh my goodness yeah you so much have, respect you must be doing so many things yeah It'd be so interesting I'm, I'm just a little hermit that lives at home i'm a little hermit crab <laughs> i there's not i'm very limited but i do my best <laughs> yeah the best thing yeah and then this year was cool because we got to change schedules we talked about mm -hmm. that a lot but that really changed the dynamic of the stream i think and more people stuck around because we do instead of doing three hours three hours we do six hours now know, um, maybe one day we'll go to like nine hours but that's the thing is like it <laughs> uh, i just a stream can sometimes does take nine hours doesn't matter yeah, it like does, we don't yeah. look at the clock and go like like i mean our alien isolation and shadow corridor streams for very yeah. long so we just find a good place like in our we have like a body clock mm -hmm. like that's about six hours and then we'll look at where the game is mm -hmm. if we feel like we can go more and you know even if it goes for 10 hours if the game doesn't stop there like we'll keep going yeah. it's not like 
There's no real set time for us anymore. It's a general but. thing. Mm-hmm. General, which means that it can go shorter too, but that's yeah. like that's what it, that is what it is. Like we're not trying to cut it short because we want to end stream, but it just I mean, it's not like a TV show. It's not. It's a you know, good. It's uh, not a set TV. Or it's not a set program. So and being more flexible about that for us has helped us mentally, yeah. which is weird because like when you don't add a time, we go longer. Yeah, we do. Which is weird. Like we. I realize, like, when I don't think about, like, okay, this is the three-hour mark or the six-hour mark, and you can just cut it whenever, Yeah. you would think you would just end it short, you know, make, make it shorter because it's, you know, sometimes it does go shorter, but, like, there's times that it goes way longer. Yeah, most of my so solo it's, streams it's tend really to go longer. Um, um, it it kind of depends on what I'm doing, but, mm-hmm. like, especially with Sakana, because I, I know what time it is because you come home yeah usually and that's kind of the indicator like oh it's getting close to six hours kind of thing mm. but then there are times when i'm like you know what he he can sit there on the couch for a bit or mm-hmm. he's like oh he fell asleep so i'm just gonna stream longer yeah <laughs> and that's that's important yeah. th- to be able to do that I mean, yeah yeah so yeah i just wanted to talk about like how you felt about it last year and this year and think yeah, yeah. just before I mean, did, we go into did you have any negative things that happened this year negative other than that? i mean it was negative things I mean, in my like I mentioned, my pay went down, so I was like panicking all year, because yeah, um, it was this gradual decline of the yeah. from my from my work. So I was trying to like it's scary get, watching your savings go down and down and down, right? Yeah, and yeah. I just had to like keep it real. Um, by so I was using all that energy. There was a time where I would come back and then I would just flip on a street like drink and then just flip on the second channel and just talk to people, and that really helped. Um, me that helped me out a lot um, and in that in that sense like that's the kind of one where I was like 100% relying on um, chat for that one and I was just mm-hmm. like waiting for people to talk to me and it was I mean it's just like you're hanging out with friends yeah and people not were not really in the streamer mindset I suppose and people were nice enough to yeah I was definitely not a streamer at that moment like, <laughs> it was just hanging out um, yeah and I think those are nice too so yeah. I don't so, think there's anything wrong with that with stream I think I was able to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do that I couldn't do last year so it it was pretty uh it was pretty good i think bad i mean there were some times when i would be like burnt out on a game or something like that but then yeah. i just took a mental reset i just try to reset it by thinking of another thing that we can do in between or um just look i, I would just watch a lot of these really smaller like content japanese content creators that are play really obscure games and then just see if we can find like an english patch or an english version of it yeah. so we play like bizarre games sometimes but like tasty ramen yeah <laughs> and i think it was more of what we thought was interesting we played what we thought was interesting um and i just yeah i think stream wise yeah there's sometimes when we were like of course we have the yeah i guess we're not growing as much but mm-hmm. and then i just turned off everything and that way I can just enjoy what it, what, you know. You just enjoy the game for what it is. Kind and of enjoy streaming, yeah. the aspect mm-hmm. of streaming. So, I think. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, we've we've had a few burnout issues yeah. during the year where we just really didn't want to stream uh, a f- couple days. Or, like, we just really didn't want to play any games whatsoever. And it's like, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. There's no games. Like we both don't want to play any games right now. Yep. There's nothing new that we want to play. There's nothing old we want to play. Like, what yeah. are we going to do kind of thing? And that's like, for us, that's kind of where burnout is. It's not like we don't want to, uh, we don't want to stream because stream is burning us out. It's more like crap. We don't have content. Like yeah, we, we don't have anything do. we want to do. Yeah. So that makes us burnt out, I guess. Yeah. In, so it's it, it, I don't I mean I don't I, I bet there's you know other other people who feel this kind of burnout too but I think that's the only burnout we've really had this year was just content burnout. Yeah, where we didn't so. know what to do mm-hmm. or like we or we, we just got we tired simulate of the game. It, yeah. Even if it's a game we don't play, we simulate it in our heads mm-hmm. before like what what the kind of what it's like. Mm-hmm. We tried to not look at stuff just because it's better when it's the first playthrough. Yeah, but we'll try and. What I what I'll do is if there's another playthrough that someone's doing, I'll watch like maybe like the first thirty seconds, and I'll get a glimpse of what the game is kind of like, and then I I'll try and simulate what the next first streams, how many streams it's gonna take, how long it's gonna like, just in my head a little bit, so I know which direction we can go into and how we can make it interesting with the both of us, mm-hmm. 
and the best thing is it never goes to plan it, it, it like yeah. messes up it like it does it never goes according to plan which is the best thing because those are like happy surprises and those are always better than things that you can expect and it always goes way beyond i feel like a lot of games this year went a lot more beyond than um i expected yeah um and because we talked about a lot of like i guess the the real stuff or neg i i mentioned what were some of the negative stuff i just want to pull out some of like the um real things instead of like oh everything is happy but that doesn't mean like i said this year was great for us yeah um this this year um, it was a lot better than last year for sure yeah like we're seeing improvement in numbers we're seeing improvement in our mental health we're seeing improvement and you know our payout yeah. we're seeing improvement in like what i guess what we want to do as a stream like what our i guess our um not view of i guess view is streaming too but just men- mentally yeah it's it's so. So in total, it was good, but I just wanted to, I just, you know, I didn't want it to sound like, there was a lot of like, okay, these are the negative, the negative or like the kind of things we have to work on, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean this is a negative year in any way. Yeah. Uh, to- in total, it was, it was fantastic, but I think it's important to do that review every year, you know? Like, it's not just happy stuff, you know? Um, no, of course, yeah. because that's what it is. Okay, so I think that's, um, I really wanted to just review that. We talked about the games. Um can I go to the questions? Yeah, let's let's let's. Uh, we think we talked enough about our uh, just ourselves. So let's take some questions from uh, from subs and see what's up. All right. So what's the first question? All right. Here? So we have a question from Juki, yep. and how would the process of moving in Japan be like? Uh, is it like pay two to three months rent for a new place in advance, or go to like um uh have hikoshi gaisha check your uh, items to move, etc. Like moving in Japan from one place to another, to Yeah, I think so. Um, how would it? How? What's like? Are you talking? I'm guessing it's like what's the process? Okay. So, so basically, yeah. like when you move, you first want to clear out everything in your house, right? And then you usually take your key to like if you if you apply through um, like a housing agency, you just bring your house key to them, and then they'll check it later, and then they'll give you the deposit later, kind of thing. But before that, then you can move. Like you can hire a moving company. And then they can take, like, if you have trash, like, big trash you want to throw away, sometimes they'll take it, too, or you have to call mm-hmm. the trash company. Some people then, just don't use a moving company. They just do them themselves. If they have a car, yeah. Yeah. And it's mo- easier, too. And money-wise, you do have to pay a couple of... It's pretty expensive to move because you have to... some Depending on where you rent it out, um, you have to pay anywhere from, like, two to three months in advance. Yeah. Um, and there's, like, there's this fee that you have to give the... Um, the real estate agent for like helping you get the place yeah. and like uh which is a month worth mm-hmm, of rent. right yeah. and then you, there's a deposit one where you can you can get it back if you have no damage but you put it in first then there's a normal yeah. rent and then it's pretty expensive to move and then in. if you have pets you have to also pay another extra month uh month worth of rent for and most also, but for the, thing the place is, at least where we live yeah in. for yeah. we live it depends on which uh company or which uh apartment complex you live in mm-hmm. but um and then also like i think it's if you live in an apartment for more than four years you they waive your damage fees okay is what i heard and that's what my company told me or my previous place told me maybe that's not it for all places but that's that's what they yeah. told you. i mean not all damage fees sorry it's like natural damage fees from just living there so long okay that they don't charge you extra like if you know, if maybe maybe your floor is a little scuffed up and it's like, well, you've been here for four years, so you're good kind mm-hmm. of thing. A lot of companies apparently do that. Mm-hmm. But, of course, it depends. It depends on where you are. So that's what it's like. A little expensive to, to move here. Yeah. And then you have to reroute all your internet and stuff. And no. Yep, yep, yep. That's a... Uh, Changing your address is kind of a pain. But, you know, eh, that's, that's probably like it. Bad. That's yeah. probably the same I think it's the same, so. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, what's the next one? All right, so next one's from Ostrich, and it's what advice do you have for anyone that may be interested in starting a couple stream? Um, I guess advice. first thing first is make sure you guys uh, have the same goal in mind um, or, like, what you are expecting out of a stream. That's a really good one. Um, especially since, like, if you want to... If you're streaming because you just want to do it as, like, an off-day, like, hobby where you don't have a schedule and you just want to stream like you know maybe once or twice a week or something but the other person wants to stream on a daily basis it's not gonna work out and that doesn't go for a Um, couple but just any like if you're gonna work on a stream yeah just anything yeah any like Mm multi-person team stream everyone 
make sure your goals are the same and second just do it <laughs> seriously just do it like like before don't go on reddit and look at what just do it you should try it yeah because yeah. honestly you're try not gonna out. know if you two are gonna be a good pair unless you try it or yeah. if you'll even like streaming unless you try it so that was a, that was like a genuine fear that i had when i did the first lockdown remember yeah. i told you like yeah. i don't know how the chemistry between me and ken has been gonna be like we're <laughs> yeah. really good friends but doesn't mean that we can there's a Stand possibility playing a game together for you know more yeah. than 12 hours so that was one of the biggest fears because i never streamed them with, mm. with them before and i was going to be in there for we didn't even have a set time very very scary because i know that i'm i, I definitely take it for granted how much chemistry we have on stream so i think um that's a fear but but you you won't know any of that unless you just try streaming try it, yeah so because i mean another thing i was worried about was like i thought you know i, I have what i want to do on stream and what my view on stream is but if you have completely different mindset then it's gonna clash right and then one person's gonna have to kind of like back off and be like okay we can do it your way kind of thing and then they're gonna feel like they're not doing what they want to do and then you create tension and it becomes this really awkward kind of like thing and then it just falls out and kind of thing so like i was a little worried that you would want it to be something that like you would want something but i don't or vice versa yeah yeah like i would want to do something but you'd be like no nah, i don't want to do that yeah. kind of thing and it's like oh okay i think so and the thing about that is is that's really important but there's no way to know because people always change depending on what experience mm -hmm. that they get so when you guys start if that person does start streaming things will change they might yeah. say i want to do this first and then it'll mm -hmm. change as you keep going yeah so, so I mean, communication course. and being alert and yeah. being knowing that things will change talk to each other and that's why you guys need to always recalibrate yeah together and that's communication is always going to be number one yeah but before all that, just try it. Yeah, just try it. You're not going to even know that until you try it. So. Yeah, just try it out. Yeah. What if it doesn't work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this one's uh, next. A few few questions from regular. Okay. First one is Super Mario's mushroom power up sound effect is a victory theme pitched and sped up. Mm. Uh, what's a not so well known fact you can't shut up about? Not so. I remember I was like super hyped when I found out about that Soken from 14 used like the sound effects for one of the like one of the sound effects or one of the songs. It's just him taking a like the out outer part of like a cigarette box and then yeah, like just like as drum effects. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, something like that, yeah. <laughs> which was like crazy. Um I think Are you like, another one that you can't shut up about? What? It's that one band that you really like, and you tell me the story every single time. And I, I'm really, I'm such a good girlfriend because I answer, I still ask answers and like listen to you, what, thinking it's like the first time. Um, I keep forgetting, even though you tell me about them all the time. But, so you're not uh, really listening, then. No, I am listening. It's just I'm kidding. There's a lot of bands that you like have to keep track of. Um, uh, it's about the you know the super young vocalist who's like who got passed around from company to company. Oh, the starting day. line. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The starting line. Yeah. Well, I mean the the band lore is always interesting like this and yeah everyone has especially like artists yeah creative people always have a very interesting story behind them so uh most no, 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 don't worry I, I loved hearing the story justin just, vernon you, story you, is you cool. say that like, story like, like every bon Iver, year so like, <laughs> bon Iver story is cool like how he like put himself in a, in a cat cabin he's almost yeah. dying of like mono or something and then he wrote that record and then won an emmy there's there's, there's so many like cool stories like <laughs> Yeah, I can't stop. Yeah. I can't shut up about that kind yeah. of stuff. That's true. I have a lot of stories like that. If it's like, but uh, out of all things you talk about, you talk about starting line and you tell me that story so many times. Yeah, I because don't think I'm, because realize. I'm like that 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 band yeah. like makes me sad. Like every that. time you watch a video of them, you're like, oh, by the way, did you know? Yeah, because it's like yeah, yeah, what's because up? recently yeah. that dude like took like footage from like 2003 no, 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 and put I, up on I, youtube I know, you know, to like it's okay i like hearing it i told you know, i just said footprints I, of that band and it made me realize that this band could have been so much bigger next question <laughs> i'm serious it's sad it's a sad story <laughs> it's okay depressing next story. one uh well it sounds like a really good advice but isn't Oh, that's a good question. Wait, that's that's a really simple but hard question. What sounds like good advice but isn't? Um, what sounds like good advice? What what would be like? 
Is there any example? Maybe not like a good one, but like a... Um, what would be something that sounds like good advice? It's got to be, for me, it's got to be something about, um, but I don't know if it's good advice or not. I think hmm. it might be good advice, but I just don't agree with it. Is the whole, like, forget your dreams and, you know, get real and, you know, that, that horse shit. That, that, it's just, it never felt right with me that you throw away everything that you like because everyone around me didn't have what they, it seemed to me that people around me didn't have anything that they liked. So they use this whole, like, don't do what you like and do what makes money. That's and throw away everything. Right. And like, I think he agrees. Right. But, the, <laughs> but it's still my, there, there's people that are getting, getting so much money and having a really, really good life while I'm out here, like still kind of like struggling, you know, month to month, but I, I still enjoy it. And I still see a future in it, but, and a lot of people won't agree with me and that's okay. Um, people have a different way of kind of living their life. Of course, my parents want uh, think differently. You know, they want me to be very have more money, and there's no way in hell that I'll tell them that I turned down some job that gets a lot more pay. But I turned it down because I want to do what I want to do, and it. It. But on the other yeah. hand, I I think that you should never uh, just don't. Be realistic, though. I think it, being realistic is a, good, it's a is, balance. Huh? It's a balance of two because, yeah. like, you don't want to give up everything just to put all your money into like being I don't know some like world famous like harmonica rapper or something. Like, that's not gonna. That work. sounds fucking awesome. What are you <laughs> but, talking about? Yeah, but the off chance that you're gonna really make it really really big yeah. and you can support everything without yeah. a secondary job is gonna be very difficult. I like, guess that's not a very like yeah. um, black or white thing. Yeah. I think um, you're right. You're right. It, it, there, it, there's got to be a good balance. It's yeah. not just. You can um, wean off of it, yeah. kind of thing. Like if you are doing something that you love, that, that makes sure loaded. you have that one's no. You have a backup, and then once you get start making, yeah. you know, enough money, then maybe you can That's cut a, back on that, hours. And then that was a bad that was a bad uh, example that I brought out for this question because it's not bad advice at all. Um, yeah. it, the more I think about it, it's not bad advice, but it's just there's more to it, is what I thought. Yeah. There's more to it. There's a good way to do it, I guess. Um, let me think of something else. Uh. uh Something that sounds like good advice, that it's but it's bad advice. Crap, I don't even know if so, something that sounds good, but it's not that. Yeah, my, mine's mine was a little loaded. Like mine wasn't. I don't think it fit this this question. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to think. What's bad advice? Let's start off with that. What 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 would be Something bad? That's advice? bad for you. Right, so like bad advice, is like smoke cigs, <laughs> like that's terrible. Yeah, that's ter that doesn't sound really good. <laughs> Just something that's like that's like drink booze. All right. Or get, I don't know. I guess like a spontaneous tattoo. Technically, I mean, that's not really bad advice either because some people just like just decide and they they're happy with it forever. So. And there's a good chance, but you'll there's a good chance you'll regret it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's what you're saying, like, right? Go get your head shaved. You might regret that too. But I mean, it's it might sound really nice at the moment because like you know it's really hot outside in summertime and whatnot. Or just but, don't cut your hair this whole quarantine time. Yeah, that's, that's fine too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I like my hair, but sometimes I don't know. That's a, that's a hard question. You actually, you tell me what's a good one. There must be one in your mind, and that's why you Regular. thought of this question, right? Regular. All right, yeah. you hit me up on the DMs. All right. I, I know I have really good advice though. What is your girlfriend's always right? Next question. What's the next question? And she knows where your beanies are. Next question. I don't like that. I don't like that answer at all. Uh, it's too loaded. You have the entire world's ear for 15 seconds. What would you want to say to them? Twitch.tv slash blues. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's an older game that you'd want to see in PSN? Or just like, I guess, remade? I don't know if it's been remade. It's a game that I've never played before. So I do want to experience it. It's like the Shadow Colossus series. If, the, if we can get... I know it's. Did it ever? Did you go on like I don't know, like PS3 or something? I don't know. Maybe it it's might, remastered, yeah. but not remade. I think. Yeah. I, uh, see, I would like to see I'll, Crisis I'll Core. That. I know it's not an old game, but I do want to see Crisis Core on Switch or something so we can play it again. Yo, I've been Chrono, wanting you to play it for so Chrono long. Chrono Trigger remake. Let's go. But Chrono Trigger is fine. We need a Crisis Core first because nobody can get a PS what PS Vita right now. PSP, whatever you call it. You can't get an SNES. I mean, you can play it on the computer. You can right? probably do that on the same. 
if you can do if you're saying that you can oh, do sure. that maybe yeah. you can if you're talking about consoles it. it's it, you, it's hard to get an snes these days right that's true so okay but i have an snes at home what? and my mom's attic well, that's good for you bro. yeah i can bring it <laughs> Thank we you can for, stream an SNES game. How? How? <laughs> Are we going to have to build in an HDMI port on that thing? You can do it, right? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, next question from... There's uh, actually a thing called the... There's, there's a player where you can stick in. Like, it, it's like a console. It's like a, it's like a console, and you can put in cassettes, and you can... It's super unstable, but you can... Uh, plug in. Plug in an HDMI to an SNES. I think you can do SNES, original NES, Game Boy Advance... And something like it's like all in one no Vita. no wow okay i'm good enough <laughs> uh so next question is from kc hey uh when the covid situation goes away eventually what are the top three things you want to do and where are the top three places you want to visit i want to go uh to more izakaya so like bars uh um i want to go to i want to eat yakinika i want to go eat korean barbecue outside um and I want to go. I want to go to a. I want to go to the city and just kind of not be so scared seeing so many people, because even now when I go to Shibuya, is where I work, is it's very in, anxiety inducing, and it's still the numbers are you know there. It's not as many people, but it's still really scary and just. I want to feel comfort in a place, especially because I live in Tokyo, right? I know a lot of people live in less dense areas, but. I grew. I grew up. I grew up here. This density shouldn't scare me, but this COVID situation definitely has affected the way that I see crowds. I think for everybody, it would feel nice to um, feel okay again, looking at what Tokyo used to be. How about you? Uh, mine's probably karaoke. Oh number yeah, one. that's a good one. Uh, number two would be I uh, do. There's this one ryokan that you can go to that you can bring your dog. So I want to go to a little hot, like traditional Japanese hotel with a little like hot spring and like your private hot spring and a private doggy bath and bring Anu with me and put him in a little kimono or you got that. Sorry. I do so want to travel with Anu. I've never, I know. never really traveled with Anu. Yeah. Yeah. So we should go to the doggy ryokan. Let's go. So we can put him in the yukata with us. Can you, can you go into the onsen? There's probably, a, there's like a doggy pool. A doggy probably. hot spring? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I think he'd like it. That's he number one, that. then. That's number one. That's number one, yeah. yeah. Uh, third one is probably just, yeah, go see friends outside. <laughs> yeah. We do that sometimes, but it's it's still very, uh, you know. Yeah. Like, for example, like lockdown. Like, we, yeah. we go straight to the studio. Like, I don't see anything, yeah, and I then guess, I just like, come maybe, straight out. Maybe, like, Universal Studios or, like, Disney or something. A like theme a, park. A theme park, yeah. Because you can't park? go right now, so. Okay. All right. Um, Next one. Oh, wait, uh, where, what three places you want to visit? Three pla- so, uh, like I've been saying this even before Corona, but I, I do want to just go outside to like America, Europe, and you know, that's always just I've never really gone out to those you know visited outside of Japan. So pretty I much go, anywhere. Yeah, I want to go to Korea. I do want to visit Hawaii at one point. Um, I was I do want to visit Australia, but like I said to you guys on stream, um. Please trap all the spiders and put them <laughs> on one island, and then you can let them go once I leave. But when I'm there, please just make a spider Living island and then keep the main area like spider free, so I can just visit for two weeks, and then yeah, then you can let them all go again. So living just, yeah. on the uh, yeah. that Animal Crossing life, like yeah. that, the tarantula island. Yeah, leave them or, on the tarantula island. Yeah, or we could go scuba diving. That's fine. Too. No, absolutely not. Oh, you know what? No, I want to go like paragliding. Apparently that's really fun. Like you don't go that high. You're just like paragliding seems a lot m- more for me. Scuba diving is just is just hell. So just because yeah. I I don't like I open think paragliding water. would be fun. Yeah, that sounds pretty so, yeah. fun. There you go. <laughs> What's next? What's your 2021 prediction and direction you guys are looking for to take this channel to? 2021 prediction goal is 100 average. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still, that's my goal. That's a really good goal. We should work okay. towards that. Prediction. And- I mean, more, I guess closer to being able to make a living off of this. I yeah, guess. more yeah. events, more creative things. Um, hopefully, a couple of new projects, but really working on the core stream, um, how we can just be, not not just like growing the stream, but just us. Here's the thing, like when, you, when growing the stream becomes the first priority, it's it's been hard for us to grow as streamers, if that makes sense. Like, uh, we, for us, 
when we focused on just being better at what we do and how we can better ourselves as streamers, it directly translated to people coming, more people coming in. But when it's like, how do we get more people? How do should we play this game? Should we play that game? It just doesn't last. It doesn't last. The results are always just never immediate, and it it stops us from growing as you know streamers. I think so. Working on ourselves, I think, is the most important. It's the best way to get it takes time, but it brings more people in. I think. Twenty predictions. I don't know. I don't know if that was a prediction, but well, I mean, like apparently Tokyo's trying to do Olympics in 2021, but oh, my yeah. prediction is that that's not gonna happen. So. Yeah, 20. I think 2020, 2021 is still gonna be very similar to 2020. In unfortunately, with the whole situation, everyone's gonna be staying in mostly a lot of remote work, um, but hopefully better. I'm hoping for a better 2021. This is what I'm hoping. Yeah. For for the world. And then a question from Fire. So if you could go back in time, what would you change? What are some things you regret in life? My thing would be to study something else in college. Because I, I studied textiles and design. And I, I honestly wish I studied like digital, or digital art or like marketing or something that's a little bit more, I guess, vague to the point where I can use it on different things. Um, I, I study something very, very, like a very niche major, and I wish I study something a little bit broader. That's for, my regret. For me, it's it's hard to say because if you do the whole thing where it's like this led to this, this led to that, I don't regret it. But yeah, I, of course, definitely. I yeah. do regret not going to the U.S. for college mm. when I had that opportunity. Um, I chose Japan for just because I, I did want to go – it was a lot cheaper to go to a, a Japanese university. Um, but I think more so, I just didn't feel comfortable li- leaving Japan at that point. And after that, the, the opportunity to visit, they were like, you can do like transfer stuff, but it was a little bit, I, I just missed the timing on all that. Or even in college, I another thing I would regret is like studying abroad or just, um, or like just visiting during yeah. those times because I had a lot more time back then. So, um, traveling, I can still do traveling now, but, uh, I think it was a lot easier if I went to school over there or did a study abroad or, uh, traveled a little bit more during my school days. I yeah. regret not doing that. So I got to make it up by doing it more in the future, but <laughs> hopefully in the next couple of years, I can do that. And I guess if I could go back in time, I'd tell myself to start streaming earlier. <laughs> yeah start start streaming <laughs> when i'm right, a little yeah. younger yeah but okay and then uh last question from trav is next possible games for lockdown about any guests i <laughs> as of now nothing really um i, di- I did want to play like a there, there were there's some things that i wanted to do which i which i really shouldn't say yet because it might it might happen um also uh ken did talk about how we might want to do something that's a little not not like it's kind of the same people kind of the same idea but a, a, lot, a little bit more chill uh more of like if anything more like a podcast or something like that and just like have an episode like that see how that goes so that might happen but uh nothing set in stone or any ideas i do want to play what i want to do is play a game that's a first a long game that's a first playthrough for oh, no for everybody that's in it so for me and ken if we get a guest then that person too but um a lockdown where it's a first playthrough long game for both of us i think that would be interesting because super mario 64 they they were uh obviously um they knew what they were doing for jump king i think ken played a good good amount of it on stream before so he kind of knew that i just want to do like learning the mechanics from one kind of stream yeah. would be fun it'd, be, it'd be, definitely be longer than the ones we have now but the, the lockdown would be longer but i think a first playthrough for both of us is something i want to try yeah is that the last question yeah okay thank you guys so much for uh those questions i'm still I'm thinking about that uh good advice but bad advice thing um sounds like good but not really good um, he's getting really restless yeah i think we need he's to get getting the zoomies <laughs> but yeah so 
So this is the last podcast of uh, this year. Any- this year, yeah. All right. This is already in there, but what are you looking forward to in 2021? Well, I mean, aside from, like, new games, there's a lot of games I'm looking forward to. But, I mean, other than that... Oh, yeah, just, other, just like, uh, for stream. Well, I mean, stream I already answered stuff. it. This Growth. Yeah, growth. Yeah. New stuff to do. I realized that what I was yeah. gonna I was gonna yeah. end the stream with that or the end of the podcast I with guess, that, but yeah. that was you guys already asked that good question. Yeah, so. this growth. I yeah. suppose. Keeping mental keeping our mental stability a little better than mm-hmm. this year. This year was better than last year. So, so next year will be better than Hopefully this year. we can keep growing and growing and keeping it more stable. Because that's what it is. Continuing is always what it is. To keep going is the best way. To achieve anything you know so yeah but it's not good if you're not in a men- good mental space um but yeah everybody that's out there that that's listening to this thing guys for checking the podcast out stay safe um new years are coming up christmas is coming up hopefully everyone can celebrate in their own way yeah. have a little good end to a horrible year for most of us <laughs> <laughs> um you guys have powered through shouts out to everybody all right and yeah we'll, thank you for a great year we'll be on stream but for the band podcast blue and gray we'll see you guys next year on the band podcast yeah. thank you guys so much take care <laughs>